Instagram has undoubtedly captured our hearts and continues to influence our travel decisions heavily. In fact, chances are you visited a place after seeing a friend post it on Insta. Unfortunately, the over-reliance on high-ranking Instagram feeds can create the illusion that every Tom, Dick and Harry of a tourist destination is royalty. If you are an Insta tourist looking to replace Paper City guidebooks with Instagram images, this video has curated a list of iconic Vista cities to add to your travel itinerary. Discover a city that holds a record 100 plus festivals annually as we explore our pick of the 10 most Instagrammable cities in the world. Get your lens shining and let the adventure begin! Sydney, Australia. The Sydney Harbour Bridge may be the most popular landmark in Australia and indeed the world, but did you know that Sydney once held the Guinness World Record for the largest swimsuit group photo shoot? You heard that right. In 2007, 1,010 swimsuit clad women gathered at Bondi Beach to pose for the largest swimsuit group photo before losing the record to China in 2011. Swimsuits aside, Sydney is one of the most picturesque, Instagrammable and visited cities in the world. Located off the coast of the Tasman Sea in the southeast region of Australia. It is the oldest and biggest city housing unique landmarks including the Harbour Bridge, the Opera House and the Tower Eye. This coupled with a stunning coastline, pristine beaches and a great climate makes Sydney a popular tourist attraction. The city is also quite the grand dam of the filmmaking industry, having featured in multiple movies including Home and Away, The Great Gatsby, Independence Day, The Matrix and Planet of the Apes. And since Sydney lies amid a seductive intermingling of land and sea, there are plenty of swimming and surfing spots. Bondi and Manly beaches, in particular, are a must visit for tourists looking to walk on white sandy beaches with pristine waters. Looking for close encounters with wildlife and superb views of the Sydney skyline instead? You don't need to visit two different places, as Taronga Zoo provides both. You can also visit the Feverdale Wildlife Park for an opportunity to cuddle up to a koala, hand feed kangaroos and interact with other native wildlife. For art lovers, the Museum of Contemporary Temporary Art, the Museum of Sydney and the Nicholson Museum are must visits. Hong Kong, China. A cosmopolitan city where modern skyscrapers meet centuries-old temples, Hong Kong is truly a global melting pot and just like any other vibrant city worth its salt. Hong Kong is home to the world's longest covered escalator, which runs for a jaw-dropping half a mile. But if you want to see Hong Kong from its rooftop, the best place to visit is Victoria Peak, which is the highest hill on the island. Standing at an elevation of 552 meters, it gives stunning panoramic views of the towering skyscrapers of the city centre and surrounding areas. There's also the International Commerce Centre, which is the city's tallest building. Here you'll enjoy a 360 degree unobstructed view of the island skyline from the building's observation deck. Apart from its skyscrapers, 40% of Hong Kong's territory is made up of nature reserves and country parks, making it a haven for outdoor activities. If you are looking to titillate your taste buds, Hong Kong is known as the culinary capital of Asia. Whether it's the local dim sum, a regional chili crab or a plate of Italian spaghetti, the Cabanara, the island chefs will keep you hooked. Within the city are traditional stores with Chinese products, trendy boutiques selling luxury items and bustling street markets where you can purchase valuable collectibles and antiques. A tour of Hong Kong would be incomplete if you didn't visit one of the many festivals happening throughout the year, including the Dragon Boat Festival, Spring Festival and Mid-Autumn Festival. Hong Kong is also one of the best places in the world to celebrate Christmas and New Year's Eve, where buildings and streets are decorated with special festival decorations and fireworks displays. Jaipur, India. Referred to as the pink city of India, Jaipur screams royalty in every aspect. More specifically, it is the first planned city in the country, making it one of the most organized and flamboyant cities in India. But that's not the best part. Jaipur is both historically fascinating and aesthetically striking. And unsurprisingly, it is home to two major UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the Janta Manta Observatory and Amma Fort Jaipur. Another not to miss tourist attraction is the Hawa Mahal, constructed in 
1799. It is a stunning representation of the rich architectural expertise and inside are an archaeological museum and the Pink City Shopping Bazaar. Nearby are other historical buildings including the Albert Hall Museum, the White Marbled Birla Temple Japar and Ajma Holy Shrine. Away from the city mayhem, you can visit Japar Sariska National Park, Rantanbar National Park and Ankledo National Park. National for a thrilling wildlife adventure. For a taste of India, Japar is packed with enthralling restaurants that will immediately transport you into the city's imperial past. Whether it's fine dining or street foods you are after, Japar offers a gastronomical delight unmatched by most other cities in India. Jerusalem, Israel Jerusalem is one of the most famous cities in the world, all thanks to its ancient history and religious significance. However, looking at the city's modern architecture and vibrant population, it's hard to imagine that people have continuously lived here for more than 3,000 years. As a testament to its long history, Jerusalem is home to 2,000 plus active archaeological sites and Mount of Olives, the oldest active burial site in the world. If you are planning on traveling to Jerusalem, the city can be divided into three main sections, the Old City, West Jerusalem, Jerusalem and East Jerusalem. Encased within the ancient stone walls is the Old City and here you'll find the city's most popular tourist attractions including the Western Wall, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre and the Dome of the Rock. Outside the Old City is Jerusalem's thriving yet laid-back West Jerusalem metropolis. Buzzing with life, there are plenty of shops, bars and restaurants although much of the action is centered around Ben Yehuda and Jaffa Road Street. Here you can try the best food that the city has to offer, lift as many glass wines as you wish and enjoy shopping while at it. If you are a history buff, Yad Vashem is located in West Jerusalem and it contains the largest collection of Holocaust information, artifacts and artworks. East Jerusalem on the other hand is a hub and the melting point of the city's Arab community. The absolute showstoppers here are the lively markets, Mount of Olives, Mount Scopus and the Hill of Evil Council. Kyoto, Japan considered Japan's spiritual heart. Kyoto is a motherload of ancient history, culture and heritage. Situated on Honshu Island, the city boasts over 3,000 temples and shrines, which is where its nickname, City of 10,000 Shrines, originates from. Whilst most historic shrines and monuments in Japan have been lost to wars, fires and earthquakes, Kyoto has managed to preserve most of them, and that makes the city even more exceptional. Three of the most iconic shrines in Kyoto are Fushimi Inari Taisha, Kiyomizu Dera Buddhist temples and the Kamigamo Shrine. The Kamigamo Shrine in particular is both the oldest Shinto sanctuary in Kyoto and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, making it an amazing sightseeing spot. If you are motivated by fashion and hunger, Kyoto is a haven for diners and shoppers. In the downtown area, you'll come across bars, restaurants, department stores and fashion brands of all shapes and sizes. While at it, you can explore Shizhou Street on foot and purchase souvenirs and local fashion items. If you are looking to learn and experience Japanese history and culture, Higashiyami District in East Kyoto is a must visit. The relatively small area of the district means everything is tightly packed together, meaning you can walk around and visit several places in a day. Nearby is Eon District, which is Kyoto's entertainment district. Here you can stroll around enjoying the beautiful traditional buildings or try the traditional performances by the geisha. About an hour away from central Kyoto is the Arishiyama area, unlike the bustling areas of Kyoto's city center. Arishiyama is relatively isolated, making it ideal for visitors looking for a place with a laid-back vibe. The Tagetsukyo Bridge and the Arishiyama Bamboo Grove in particular are two classic cases of real Japan harmoniously coexisting with nature. <laughs> Chefchaouen, Morocco Tucked in the rift mountains of northern Morocco, the city of Chefchaouen is popularly known as the Blue City due to the blue colour painted over its ancient alleyways and Medina walls. The blue colour painting stems from the belief that it reminded the locals of God's power. Whilst the cute blue alleyways and doorways are the primary draws for insta travellers, there's much more to do in this quaint city. The blue postcard-like streets of the Medina marketplace, mixed with the cute boutiques, colourful plant pots, bazaars, cafes, and restaurants will make you
you soon and you may not want to leave. Spoiler alert, if you love shopping, Medina Souk is not the cheapest place by any means. The experience however is well worth it. Here you can purchase handmade textiles, hats, leather stools, straw bags and slippers. If you have a soft spot for art, don't forget to swing by the Casper, which is a great art gallery and museum located in Medina Square. Beyond Medina and its blue walls, there's a myriad of mind-blowing natural scenery around Chef Chouen. A 30-minute drive from the city centre is the tempting Cascade Stag Chaw hiking trail, which leads to stunning waterfalls. You can swim in the rock pools or spend time capturing those Instagrammable pics at the majestic waterfalls. Within the vicinity is the awe-inspiring Bridge of God, which is a rock arch that spans the river's width. For an even even better view of the city and a greater appreciation of nature, you can hike the Rif Mountains or Jebel El Kala, which is one of the highest summits in the city. And after a long day of exploring, you can go back to Medina's main square and try an authentic tagine meal. Chiang Mai, Thailand, home to Doi Intanon. Thailand's highest mountain, Chiang Mai has a rich history and ancient wonders to boast of, making it a hotspot for culture enthusiasts. Since most tourist attractions in the city are the ancient Buddhist temples, in Chiang Mai includes visiting them. Key among the most popular temples are the Wat Lok Moli and Watamong temples, and here you'll be amazed by the elegantly designed complexes featuring spacious prayer halls and spectacular chedis, or in the other words, Buddhist stupas. If you are a souvenir collector, another must-visit spot in Chiang Chiang Mai is the Bo Sang Handicraft Centre. Here the locals specialise in making the infamous paper umbrellas, which have become a cultural symbol of Chiang Mai. You can visit the centre to learn about the umbrella making craft, or purchase tiny cocktail umbrellas, hand-painted umbrellas and large parasols for patios and gardens. If you want to add a different shade to your travel experience, travel a little further from the city to Doi Inthanon, Thailand's tallest mountain for a hike. Nearby are the picturesque landscapes of Doi Ang Kang and the Royal Park Rajapruak, where you can relax and admire the beauty of nature. About 72 kilometers north of Chiang Mai is the Chiang Dao Cave with caverns stretching kilometers into the mountain. The cave complex is an excellent spot for adventurous tourists. Unfortunately, the most accessible and illuminated caves are Tam Pra Naun and Tam Seoao Dao, while the others require a guide and a lamp as they are too dark. The Wang Prabang, Laos Listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1995, Luang Prabang is the crown jewel of Indochina. Situated at the heart of a mountainous region in northern Laos, the city boasts dozens of temples and religious sites, with the biggest concentration of temples being in the Old Quarter. But perhaps the most important monastery in the city is Wat Xiang Thong, also known as the Temple of the Golden City. It was constructed in the mid-16th century and it was once the place where Laotian kings were crowned. If you are feeling a bit adventurous, Pakao Caves are yet another one of the adventurous places to visit in Luang Prabang. Located about 25 kilometers or 15.5 miles to the north of Luang Prabang, these ancient caves are home to 4,000 plus Buddha sculptures and are an important site for devout Buddhists. An hour away from Pakao Caves is the Kuang Si Falls, tumbling down over 60 meters, 197 feet. These beautiful waterfalls make for the perfect picnic and photography grounds. Couple this with a series of pools to take a swim in and you have an explosive tourist attraction. A visit to Luang Prabang would be incomplete without taking a hike to Mount Pauzi. Often visited by locals and tourists alike, the peak allows you to catch a glimpse of the panoramic view of the city under an evening sunset. Before heading home, don't forget to visit Luang Prabang's night market where you can purchase diverse goods including local arts and crafts, ceramics, apparel, handbags and and bamboo items. Other notable places to see Luang Pra Bang include the traditional arts and ethnology centre, Far Tadka Botanical Garden and the Butterfly Park in Kuang Si. C 
Singapore, with manicured parks, dizzying rooftop retreats and air-conditioned malls, Singapore is packed with attractions to keep even the busiest visitors occupied. And for a country that doesn't have a capital city, because it's already one big city, it doesn't come as a surprise that it was voted most Instagrammable place in the world by travel publication Big 7 Travel. Right after touchdown, the city's dual Changi Airport is an entertainment spot and tourist attraction in itself. If you are thinking of shopping or dining at ungodly hours, you'll find 280 plus retail and dining outlets under the airport's majestic dome, with some operating around the clock. Along with that, there are multiple entertainment spots, including movie theatres, a 40 meter tall indoor waterfall, and trampolines for your little ones. You can even spend a night at the on site airport hotel. Beyond the airport walls and indeed the country's borders, nothing screams Singapore more than the Marina Bay Sands Resort. This majestic and equally opulent complex is home to a mall with a canal running through it, a high-end luxury hotel, the Art Science Museum and the Marina Bay Sands Sky Park Observation Deck. From the Observation Deck, you can catch a glimpse of the port, the double helix bridge and the beautiful gardens by the bay. In recognition of Singapore's collective effort to preserve some greenery in the seemingly concrete Concrete Jungle, the city's botanic gardens received a UNESCO World Heritage nomination in 2015. A Singapore walking tour through the trail will lead you to the garden's heritage tree species as you reconnect with nature. Another impressive place to visit in Singapore is the Singapore Zoo. This self-proclaimed world's best rainforest zoo is inviting and brimming with plenty of lush vegetation. Here you can observe the healthy and well taken care of animals including the orangutans, kangaroos, chimpanzees, zebras a Komodo dragon and many other creatures. If the zoo doesn't hit the right spot, you can try a night safari, a river safari and Jurong Bird Park. For a lesson on Singapore's history, food, photography and fashion, you can visit the National Museum of Singapore, which is the country's largest visual art gallery. If it is a golden sand beach that you are after, Lazarus Beach is one of the best beaches in the city. Try walking on the beaches, crescent sand and taking a dive in the crystal clear waters and you'll be glad you made the effort to swing by. Hoi An, Vietnam Established in the 1600s, Hoi An lays claim to having the third oldest Chinatown in the world and with a history dating so far back, it doesn't come as a surprise that the city holds over 100 traditional festivals annually. Top on the list is the Full Moon Festival, held every lunar month, which has seen Hoi An nicknamed the City of Lanterns. If sightseeing is something of interest to you, there are plenty of places to visit in Hoi, including Quan Kong Temple, the Fung Hung House, the Temple Bells at the Hoi An Museum and the UNESCO Heritage listed Southeast Asian Trading Port. Looking for a quiet and laid back holiday destination instead? Hoi An has got to be one of the most laid back places you'll ever visit. Minutes away from the city centre is An Bang, the city's best and most unspoiled beach. Here you can dive into the turquoise waters against the backdrop of the Cham Islands in the distance and if the sneaky adventure runs deep down your DNA, An Bang has the perfect conditions for surfing, paddle boarding and parasailing. As as if that's not enough, some of the city roads are closed off in the evening for people to walk, making it one of the least motorised cities in the world. To get a taste of what the city has to offer, the Hoi An Market is a great place to visit. Popular among locals and tourists alike are countless restaurants selling Vietnamese food, including the local Khao Lao dish. Which of these would you post first on your Insta? What other Insta-worthy spots have you visited? Comment below and we will be happy to read what you share with us.